we just received um, some Bitcoin mining rigs from Cointerra um, at, here at Dragon Circuits. We're going to experiment uh, with the whole Bitcoin mining thing. So I decided to do an unboxing and unveiling of what you will see by ordering a 1.5 or 1.6 terahash Bitcoin mining rig. Again, I've never opened one of these, so I'm going to give you a first-hand account as to uh, what somebody would expect if they were to purchase um, one of these. And uh, if you see another box there, we got multiple miners um, because we are a circuit board company. And we're really interested in hardware, and so uh, we got this from Cointerra, which is based in Austin, Texas, <clears throat> and they make these mining rigs. If you're not familiar with bitcoins, it's the new digital currency that's out there that has a lot of hype and a lot of good news and bad news. So, um, anyway, uh, we're going to open this up and uh, the first thing I see is, uh, you know, they, they, they slid this piece of paper in um, to where that's going to be the first thing you see. Obviously, it's some disclaimers and, uh, and, and some instructions on how to set this up. Very simple just like a computer i'm sure um but it's saying right here um this terra miner is expected to perform at 1.6 uh, terahertz per second uh, as shipped and they're saying this and it's expected to so they cover their 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 asses on this one <laughs> anyway um again today's gonna be just an unboxing i'm not gonna turn it on for you guys because there's not much for everybody to see as it is because it's a, just a miner um but anyway, just wanted to give the world a, a glimpse of what they would see uh, opening up one of these machines. Now, one of these machines costs, you know, four, four to six thousand dollars on the internet, and there's usually eight, six to eight month waiting list because these these machines use ASIC chips, and uh, or you know, they could, and they use other chips that are very, very high in demand, and there's often a lead time of a few months on these chips so anyway I'm gonna try to remove this with one hand but I cannot do that but first off I can tell that uh, you know they, they chose a nice um, just a just a very bare finish no paint nothing on, on the miner um, straight silver silverish looking uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this clip off and I'm gonna remove the uh, the plastic and show you guys what's uh, what's on the inside. All right, so I removed uh, the Bitcoin mining rig out of the box, and what we see here is just uh, some power cables, standard. There's nothing else in the box except just some packaging material. Uh, other than that, this is this is a machine right here, and this is what we want to look at. Um, obviously, some fans to keep the machine cool and ventilated. Um, just some some indicator lights here. Um, well, it just says reset, reset minor one, minor two. And this is called the Terra Miner, powered by Gold Strike. Um, uh, this this unit probably weighs a good uh, 25 pounds, um, so you have to be really careful when, when maneuvering it. Uh, some people may find that heavy. Actually, I'd be, it's probably around 30 pounds, honestly. Um, there's some stickers on the side here. It says Coin Terra with the with the B. That's the official sign for a Bitcoin. Um, it's like a dollar sign, but a B. Uh, anyway. Just a quick uh, overview of what you're going to see in the side here. Uh, plug in first, plug in second. They try to make it very, uh, what I call, dumb friendly. Um, and again, more fans here. Uh, these these units do heat up, generate a lot of heat. So you want to put this in a, in a, in a well ventilated place uh, uh, with a, a good air conditioning system. Um, because you know if it gets too hot, these systems can burn out and uh, they're very costly. Again, that's just the, the model number and everything and just some connections. Very bare, not, as, not, not that many ports like a computer. So this is just meant to do one thing and it's meant to mine. Other than that, um, they have some little tooling holes here um, for um, rails racks. Uh, we can put uh, these on a, on a server rack and, and, and put sliding rails up here and have this slide in and out on, on a server rack. So we're, we're here at Dragon Circuits and um, we're gonna take these machines and stack up about, uh, I think it's either about three to six of them that are coming in and we're gonna see how the Bitcoin mining works for us and we're gonna give the world a view, you know, if, they, if it's actually worth it getting some of these things or if it's just a big gimmick. So for demo purposes, I went ahead and isolated this unit in an office. Um, 
I wanted to show everybody exactly how loud this unit is. Uh, it's housing uh, one, two, maybe three, four, five, six. Not on this side. Maybe it's six different fans to keep this unit cool. These mining rigs actually do um, run at an optimal um, uh, performance speed uh, at about uh, 70 something degrees, 72 degrees room temperature. So it's imperative that we keep this in a cool environment. Um, currently in this office that I'm standing in, uh, it, boy, it, it's, it's, it's really hot in here. Um, so already I could see a problem if you have a small server room and you have to stack a few of these up. Um, like we were planning on doing, um, we better have a way of getting the heat out of the room, or else you're not going to be mining as, uh, as much as you'd like to be. And then uh, the machine's performance actually uh, goes down, and um, you make less money on, on these miners. So, anyway, um, I'm going to kind of give you a close-up of um, the lights on. And other than that, um, this is a Bitcoin miner. Um, this one will be 1.6 terahashes up to, um, and uh, currently, um, I think we're going to be making a, a Bitcoin every couple of days uh, at a price of uh, current price of 400 and something dollars. So uh, anyway, uh, new industry, just budding. I wanted to give everybody a glimpse of uh, a miner in case they were thinking about buying one or uh, if they're just interested. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep watching me. Uh, and I'm out. Roger that.